Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Testing, testing. Hey, Ocarina. How's the night treating ya? Testing, testing. And Magus, I hear you're, you're here as well. Testing, testing. Hello, hello. All right, thank you for acknowledgement. The mic check is complete. And we will begin shortly. And we'll begin in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and welcome to the night show. I'm your host, your grand MC, your night of entertainment, the one, the only TK, Diz, Isaac, Quickstep, Aeon, Orion. You know who you can call me. I am your night host, the one who reads from the night tome, who tells the tales to entertain as I journey through the kingdom of entertainia to push back the sorrow. Now, last time we were here, we were part of a heist, so we could uh, go and get our way through and hopefully buy the, get this man's house. But unfortunately, it didn't work with the brother so well. So we planned a heist, and this heist basically went wrong in so, so many ways. But... Which one was the new one? And basically the heist. The trap, the person for climbing fled. We got attacked by guards. We learned the brother literally planned, saw this coming and offered a betrayal where our lockpick betrayed us. Was it? I'm pretty sure I've said that intro, maybe not word for word before, but I've said that intro quite a few times. Then again, I don't exactly keep a script when I'm <laughs> doing this playing, so I literally just can always, uh, my intro can totally be different because I'm not remembering it word for word. I don't memorize this intro. I literally just say what sounds cool half the time. Just to try to keep things interesting for you all. But yeah, it basically went in the, the brother we were, who we originally gone to the auction house for, we killed him. And the one who hired us, we killed him because he decided to betray us. So basically, oh, I think I just found what I was looking for. Damn candles. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, does that mean I can't loot anymore? But basically, only us and the chick who fled, the elf, are the only survivors of our crew. Nick of time. Now to get out of here. As you can see, is that him? Is that the lockpick or the guy? Okay, I think that's the guy who who decided to take the offer of betrayal. Surrender. You don't stand a chance. You'll hang for this, all of you. I was gonna. S I don't think there's anyone, but I think we looted everything. Hey, we planned a heist. Might as well have someone be able to get the gold, the coin, and the worthwhile jewels. But once again, we're reminded of someone saying that you really need to pay attention more and not try to give up shit. Like, the brother could have survived as long as he didn't think to betray Geralt, but what did he do? He betrayed Geralt. So what happened to that? In that case then, he died. 
miserably. Use the lever. I really feel like I should say, pull the lever! But let's be honest, that joke would not make any sense in this case. Especially there's no wrong weather. Which makes you wonder, why does she even have that lever? Yeah, since I guess both brothers are dead, there's no point in coming back here. Or ever, we're ever gonna come back here, so. Loot. Aw, oh, we're overcumbered. Well, you know what that means. Time to find some place to sell. Silly Magus, there's no Yzma here. Plus, let's be honest, she would have died very quickly. funny about the potion mix-up in that is when you think about the sheer fact Isma literally could have probably solved her problem with just turning turning fucking um Cusco into a, a bug but because she didn't want to pay for postage and let's think about how much postage would she need sent for herself she failed something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing... I didn't away. expect the side quest when I walked in here. But sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standing... I just wanted to sell some shit. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye, what else would it be? Show me your wares. Show me what you have in stock. I don't know, we're keeping the crossbow. Why do we have this? Yeah, we'll sell the mask. I don't need the mask. Crossbow. It's just showing the sheer fact this... Actually, what else do we have that's so apparently heavy? Is it really just this shit? Apparently. I know it's always we love to bankrupt so these. So let's, you know, put on this inventory. All right, put on the crossbow, the professor's spectacles, because I'm sorry, something about these just look amazing on him. Sometimes I wonder about the how the armor is supposed to work. This is Flaming Rose armor. I'll, I'll count it as useful. But now the second request has been completed. Now let's see if I want to sell something to him. Remember you. What'll it be? 
What do you have for offer? Mind if I have a look? Hmm. Now I'm tempted to buy the Gwent cards just because we started buying cards over and over and over. Especially because it's not expensive. Ah, fuck it. I'll buy the cards. They're like 10 crowns each. Might as well. Pretty sure we can just make that back in just an instant. I can't sell shit to you, apparently. You are literally useless to me. So long. Unless maybe, actually, wait. Maybe there's something I think we can maybe be able to sell to him. What do you have to offer? Mind if I have a look? The booze. We sell them booze. We carry all this booze. We never drink it. Well, it's not very worthwhile. I might stop selling the booze because it's not really getting us anywhere. Yeah. Take care. So long. Guests, fish, and bluebirds need to chat. I'm all ears with you. I like old. I'm not an, a drinker to begin with. I think I will say I've enjoyed a uh, good mead, but. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. He's not. No. He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Hmm. Had no choice. The situation got out of hand. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane. And then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. I don't know how or why. Hmm. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss soldiers aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. I won't disagree with that. Did you know Horst had a brother? Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Yuld was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. Hmm. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without ah, so an assassin. Does oh, that mean we help the Templars? Because I'm not a fan of Templars. I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why'd you need those papers? Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodi, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule be annoying on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully That's noble of you, showing so much concern. Quite for noble. I can the rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Hm. Revenge. The Rosodius, what's your gripe? Rosodius, what's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Yeah. 
wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed mm. but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's soul. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse. Uh, what the fuck is a death uh, mask? Horse turned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. A broad. Then had another tank. And then. Then. I asked the wrong bloke for help. Hmm. What happened then? What happened then? Uh, what happened then, Witcher? Was one big stinking pile of shite. Hmm. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? My third task. Third task. Tell me about it. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something, then we'll chat. You there, yank the herring out the barrel. The what out of the barrel? Oh God, there was a person in that barrel. To listen, or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready, I'm listening. Good, you'll return to your lord and tell him as follows His demand was brazen, hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality, and I shall not bend to an uncouth bore's dictum. Understood. I will Some of the words are so weird. What the hell's with that guy's face? So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Why are you keeping that man in peril? Was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down. I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What Damn. matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. You get what's coming to you one day. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, hmm. there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. 
Third task, let's talk about it. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Hmm. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. Your third wish now. Move for a heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Know what I think? I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations, as I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. That some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. you. Problem is, I don't know the road to care more in. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Honestly, I'd actually love to see him as a witcher. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you are. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Hmm. I don't know how to make it this one. I don't really know how to respond to any of that. All I know is we're going to find a fast travel. Teleport Oxen to Novigrad for a second so we can sell some shit. And then we'll continue with this third wish. So we're going to get a flower. Honestly, I feel like his first two were attempts to be tough. But this one is in no way tough. Once again, we'll talk to our favorite black armorer friend just to fill some shit quick. But just real quick. I do not care for your welcome. Show me what you have in stock. As much as I like. Is he getting newer? No, no, these are bad. These are our swords. this shit now. Oh, he keeps trying to tell me to do that. I don't need. Well, we made more room. Not as much, but so long. we made room. And just because we can make more coin. Welcome. What have you got there? Bank Let's bankrupt this poor little. 
an alchemist. Just this troll head alone is enough to take almost every bit of coin he needs. Now let's see what's something I can sell for fives. And look, we made a nice little bit of coin. The Von Everett of the state. Now let's walk this estate. Anyone there? Mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. God, still that's a thing. Hey, yeah. Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. Isn't this the place we went to? Oh, sweet mother, my little Went to for his Vladimir's grave? Who's Kenrick? Kendrick fellow. Who is he? I, we partners, sneak into derelict houses with something valuable lying about. Mm -hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from <laughs> the living. What's the arm taken from the dead? This place seems so much Some different if it's simply. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Ain't nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. Was that one of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Okay, I feel like we've been to this place, but now he's just reacting. Yeah, to find that rose but... in this fog. I don't know what I find funnier about that. Huh. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Geralt, what did you do? Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. A grave here? Shame you can't talk. Shame you can't talk. Oh, tells us nothing. Beehives, well maintained but dormant. The longer we're here, the more confusing things Someone's we still see. To the flower beds, no violet rose though. Woods rotted completely. Hmm. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Now we look for the partner. A busted lamp, and the ground's trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body?
I mean, this state's supposed to be Someone abandoned. Yet there's implications a body was dragged. Leading from the back of the garden. No, I, that's just the prints I'm seeing on the ground. Sometimes they're so freaking hard to. T There's something here. Not very tough kids. Is that a black cat? I'd scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That digging. Unmarked, laid out in rows like garden beds. Hey, hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Damn. Who are you? What? Damn. What the fuck? So get your ass wrecked just like the other bitches, but. This is. I feel like I should be calling Blood Bowl. So, the Dark Souls or something here. Some weird vampire. Hunter series. He's just beating us, but I'm 90% sure he's gaining CS. So yes. He seems to be avoiding us rather well. Now is he dead or is he gonna keep swinging? From that. The intruder buried by the caretaker. What the fuck was that? I agree. What the fuck was that? Deformed organs. Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. That's my gotta go. Is that you? <laughs> Just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. The creature, what was it? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden. Took care of unwanted guests. Very far away. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You two are a little mysterious. This is the show. The 
pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. Looking for a violet rose, just you ask for the, the master rose. of the house, the owner? Olgierd von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgierd gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. I'm sorry, I can wield this? I'm sorry, I'm keeping this. Beat you up with a shovel. Who comes? God, that voice does not sound happy. Man, why is it always booze? Exploring this area. Locked. Can I light anything in here? It's not very bright in this house. Is that a lunar shard? don't have that key. I might just be looking for the wrong place. Just feels that area we went in might... What the... How did Gerald just do? <laughs> I'm sorry. The shovel still makes me laugh. I will be honest. I'm a very... Sometimes I can consider myself a very simple man. I can be entertained by something as simple as the sheer fact we're literally going around running around with a goddamn shovel. Alright, let's try. This area seems so incredibly damaged. I don't think this was the way we were supposed to walk in. Especially like look at this spot. Like, do you see anything I'm supposed to walk up? I feel like I'm 90% sure Gale cannot jump up there. There's nothing for Gale. So I don't think this was the way. But despite the fact where the animals were leading us, I don't think this was it either. But this doesn't You know what? We have torches. Perhaps that'll help us. No. Damn it, Lady Iris. Why do you keep your house in such disarray? Yeah, nothing here makes me think I'm supposed to be anywhere in this room. Like. So, this place. No. Oh. Wow, I made that more complicated than I need to.
Is that a fucking painting? Gotta be careful. What the hell was that? New sword? Not better than our shovel. If we haven't noticed it, I'm 90% sure I'm guessing Iris wants to stop us. No, I'll be honest, I think this is the first time we've actually used a torch all game. Like, intentionally used a torch. I say, because for the most part, you know, we never really use them. Curious if I'm gonna put the torch away. Just because we're walk. How oh, these doors opened for us. Like What the What was that the ability I was wielding? Fuck you, Ray! Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go, here we go. Did you heal going into your goddamn painting? Seriously? You healing by going in the painting? I will turn on the yard side and kill you. How does that feel? Anyone teach you never to piss off a witcher? And why was that? Bed chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Um suppose. Oh my shit. Gotta be here. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. 
Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Huh? I love that. And why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. I find that hard to believe. Yet that's what that supposed happened. to mean. One day I was locked the front door, lay down here and died from grief, from loneliness. Why are you helping me? The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. Yep, got they it. Wanna they want to go. Please leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Iris's wrath. Great. Ghosts restless, hmm. angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Need to talk to Iris's ghost. It seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. That makes sense. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Oh, thank God if I don't come back this way. Especially the sheer amount of lack of light in this goddamn place. Well, at least Iris is gonna be buried. Dude would probably be happy to get that. Still in the right spot. Hmm. She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. I like that there's options, like they think. Iris will never adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Mm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. By her pain. By this, yep. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? See how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Iris von Everick was a panther painter. Iris von Everick, but I do know I like her paintings. Hmm. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet yeah. all deserve respite and peace in death. Ah, uh, you two got anything, you Dad? Two. Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Place your sketch pad on the your grave? Name is inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. Try to summon her. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. 
Show yourself. Uh. That's creepy. For tearing you from your realm, I need to ask you. The fuck? I repeat, the fuck? Gee. Should I follow you? All right. Geralt, did anyone t tell you not to follow strange ladies in the paintings? You're not a child of the Red King. God, I wonder if I'm dating myself by mentioning that name. The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. <laughs> what fresh hell have I walked into? How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Tell me more about this place. Strange place. If I see my I other mother, I'm stabbing her with a shovel. Extremes. Don't ask it how! Only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Because I will find a way. Tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. Where'd Iris go? All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. <laughs> yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're tracking someone in the painted world, I swear. Again, like I said, if I see the goddamn Beldum, I am going to stab a bitch. With a shovel. Even though I should probably be using the silver sword. But honestly, the shovel sounds funnier. Olgird and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. How do I restore a memory? Tattered decorations for a special occasion. Mine cup, just like the one Olgeard's holding. I'm assuming I gotta be looting the area for memory related things. Okay, she's clearly holding. God damn it. I think it's apparently like. Okay, she's got the glass. Match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if 
only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know. Huh. I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My you toss them in the what? You've seen to everything. I don't know, Garrett's like already ready. He knows he's got to cut them down. I miss the beard we grew. Whoa! That spider did a lot of damage. Jesus! So many spiders, what am I as a Dragon Age protagonist? Find another one. I no, do not have a long. A nightmare. A Still feel like a dragon night. age. One you must now face. Still feel like a dragon age protagonist. Nightmare. Nightmare. Another dream of the past. Bet this one's incomplete too. Mm. Just a little different style of bellow. To some wine. Expensive. Mm. A lavish feast. Trying to impress the guests. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. I'm sorry, we do need to light this place up a little. It's far too dark. Feels like I need to put something back. Olgierd's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. Doesn't explain what I'm doing here. Because before I could see what was missing. Fire was burning in the painting. Still something missing though. What? I will say, as someone who's not a fan of the games, I'm at least curious about the movie. Because the movie, I will admit, does look interesting. Candle, fireplace. No, ignite. I don't know what's going on here. I guess I restored the memory. Is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? What's this? We brought some of Iris' things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. I'm so confused. Okay. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? So. A 
Back to your gear? Well, I'm down. Don't like this place. Honestly, I gotta wonder, do you think he was upset because they paid off his debts or that it was apparently an embarrassment? Because I'll be honest, hearing um, gone. hearing that kind of just comes across a lot worse. Like, imagine if you're a uh, fam in law said we paid your death just to. I sleep. Sleep. Up all night in your study again. I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxen first, soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come. I shall finish your portrait. Painting studio. I wonder what memory is here. Memory. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau is missing something. Hmm. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Living tableau is going to look just like the painting. Mm. Choose a place for the apples. Apples on the left. Let's try this. Mm. Apples in the middle. Hmm. Apples are on the right. This goes here. Choose a place for the grapes. Grapes in the middle. Maybe here. Fits, I think. Leave. Uh, okay. Still not right. I'm missing one last one. The goblet. Like the one in the painting. Living tableau has got to look just like the painting. Choose a place for the goblet. Goblet on the right. Here. Metal? Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. Hmm. No, still. You look so different when you realize that the scars smile aren't there. Like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm. You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Old gear, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Go to Old Geared study. I'm wondering where this door's locked. Another better question. Will I keep holding this tor torch or no? The answer is... Yeah. 
No. But I will always pick it right back up. I like the sheer implication Geralt would just beat this. Oh, this don't look like it's going to be a happy memory. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Beeswax candle. Blood pacts. Or on foreign presences. Hmm. The tome about parleying Matt there was Deans. depressingly gloomy in the winter. Right, there's a frickin' blood for some kind of magic, I bet. Chalk between worlds, mystery. between worlds, library of an occultist, spear, genies. Hmm. This is a memory, but what memory am I restoring? Hmm. Cause clearly I'm not here. It's something here. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. <sighs> Let it out of grab magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. Ah. Uh... Maybe we'll figure it out. This? Nope. Botched it, I guess. I like this one's more clear in the mistakes. How about this? Come back. We must talk. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. Who'd work for the demon to get his money? Kind of a weird bit. the pact so he's already done the summoning Damn it. now we see the fire How do I escape from the fire? <laughs> Fuck? Damn it, smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter, get inside. At least this one's not killing us as fast as the other one. The time we got a frozen wasteland. This not cover us from the lizard. Oh. Where do I need to run? God, I'm close to death. 
And I don't know where I'm running. Woo! Meditate. Aw, oh, damn it. I'm... Oh, wow, I just fully healed anyways. Okay, so we got another memory. This is when he started smoking. Deer tankered, but there was vodka in it drained to the last drop. Hmm. So it looks like there's two here. Unless they're both somehow drinking beer. Hmm. Marriage contract. Marriage contract between Iris and Olgeard. Hmm. I'm guessing he's holding the marriage contract. Right. Memory is still incomplete. Well, Olgrid gets the beer. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Damn. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me, you shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Damn. Father! Father! No! Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Not your lucky day. I should have the name of this damn quest. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. That line sounds very curious. The fact that they're saying remembers should love is weird. Sure, just vibrated. Man, why do they, they at least do we more license? Time together here, the three of us. In oh, silence. Hmm. We'll take our places, the same as then. Large you do the gold. rest. Animal hair. I don't know what I'm Most looking for here. Is. Damn. Soup, maybe. Single place setting. No others on the table. Hmm. Poor caretaker. Hmm. Probably not right. Probably not right. Hmm. Perfect match. Why? There's something else I'm missing here. I think this was yours. Which means... There we go. Small bowls right here. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. Mm. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. 
Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I feel nothing. Damn. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want Damn. you out of my sight. Olgird von Eberek failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts Why a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Are we? Iris von Eberek's greatest fear. Let me guess, her husband. Dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade. That's Especially that now, when an icy fort grips my heart, I see him. Oh, what me? Right, I, see oh, my see. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in hell and remember but the good times, Old Gear. Imagine we had to do this fight in the pure dark. Oh, what fresh hell is this? Like, what am I fucking... Alright, we're gonna go full charge and start slashing these motherfuckers. And I will find a way to fucking throw my... Beat the shit out of them with a goddamn shovel. Especially because my silver sword is apparently busted. I mean, I like that they look freaking disturbing to look at, but it's kind of like freaky as fuck. Really, 108? What are we gonna find a spirit tomb now? I mean, Gareth has gone into all the worlds before. There was the Monster Hunter crossover. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? Nope. A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. We met before. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the rose, all gear gave you. I've come for the violet rose all gear gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time, I dried it and placed it in our chamber. 
at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband has a powerful enemy. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Uh, he pretends to be happy, but my doesn't. husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. The rose, more than a memento, was it? Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real. And I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. That are what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you've built around you. Hmm. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. I'm actually curious, what's the better option here? Uh... I think what's the better? I mean, it implies suffering if you don't. Yeah, 
You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna just take the rose. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our yeah. service thus gives. Yeah, ask for it. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Uh -huh. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Well, we have the rose. I feel... I don't know why he keeps wanting to tell us about the vault. Still can't find a way in. Honestly, I feel my thing with the whole story with Olgrid and Von Ederick is just... Olgrid and his wife is just insane like there's not a happy ending to be found here like it all went wrong god damn it let me out of here why are all half the gates shut It's not so misty, no more wraiths. Yeah. I don't know, I mean, like I said, this is my first time playing this, so I don't know what happens if you did pick up the rose, or off the rose, but I got a feeling you're not supposed to. Plus, I don't really see what benefit you get for keeping the rose. Like, nothing about it seems right to keep. Oh, God. Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Where's the way out? Though I wonder if you didn't leave the sketchbook, what would have changed? Oh god, how the fuck do I get out? Every exit seems... The gate is closed. God, did any of these exits work? Where? Everywhere I'm running. Oh yeah, and since we don't need torch anymore. Damn, they had a love story that just did not work. Uh, 
Alright, let's never return to this state again. As much as I'd love to keep the shovel out, I'm pretty sure I'd get in trouble if I had that shovel out. You must sweat like a swine in that jacket. Witcher. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Geralt, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Hmm. Everything's frozen. I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, what? Well, listen, oh, I get it. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Who are you really? Gauntor Odin, also known. Not what I'm asking. Hmm. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. Get them into trouble. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desire unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. Mm. You don't. This one time I shall spare you, and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead, or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. You control time, or is this just you some trick? You control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. Mm. Why are you even here? So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with all geared. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. 
fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. Oh! Fuck! What the devil? Why is there a fly in my suit? I was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm real quick. I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my suit? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold there! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. My valor stands on three pillars. Good food. Over there, alive, good drink. a moment ago. Blind good drunk food. he was. Maybe he fainted. <coughs> Witcher in the ass. No wonder folk are dropping. Cursed and exed. What What's the a fuck? Fuck. <coughs> I don't even know how to spawn to that. Like, damn, just this. I like the shock look in the eye. ready to move what when, when where to not what I wanted to talk to you about or at least not only but I'm leaving Geralt the Eastern Front beckons I'm Kedwin bound this person so suddenly why I mentioned you'd be moving any intention to either I didn't know I would be found out this morning Two soldiers came to my door, said Redania needs me again. Couldn't turn him down, just say no? Uh, perhaps I could have, but I didn't want to. Treating the ill and wounded, it's my calling. No place I'm needed more than at the front. I see. Don't go. Can't I want to see what happens. Consider and stay. Geralt, what for? The wedding, the time we've spent together, it was nice. But you have your life and I have mine. We... This doesn't make sense long term. You know that as well as I do. Well, you take care of yourself. You too, Geralt. Learn anything about Olgrid? So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor, where will I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Hmm. Mage hunters? Why are they at his Mage door? Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, Insists the professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. 
a specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove mm. of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to see this professor. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. Now, how long does it want me to read this mayor of contact? It really just wants me. Ooh, contact the professor. Figure, honestly, I figured so that was going to be fair. The academy these days. You mean no. since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always <laughs> do. So don't worry. Well, our heart of stone time might be coming to an end. Oh, they're burning books. Don't do that. Yes. Don't burn the books. Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno, hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. Well, alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right, let me in. locked where does it want us to go hmm. see the reason I'm questioning is the map here is not going to guide me to the right spot You'll choke to death on three pounds of well I'll try it just because why not Geralt, get down from there. I'm not making a mistake to jump down the... See, I already tried jumping right there. Thank God Geralt knows how to swim. Get jammed on something, Geralt. He's getting caught on something right there. And that's what's weird. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we haven't found a drowned druid in a while. Actually, have we found a drowned druid? So many dead. I really should repair that sword. Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. 
Grab the line. Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. It was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. All right. I'll be honest, the shovel is cool so far. Time to slice you to death with a shovel! You even got like a mystical feel when you hit him with a shovel. Just have the key. Especially, I don't even know how I'm supposed to get up there. So obviously, climbing this ain't gonna be the answer. Gelb can't climb one of these. Although, I'm probably supposed to climb something simpler like this. Sometimes the answer is so s simple you think you know it. I still have not forgotten all my jumping around. Really? Really made like Oh duh. Actually not. Oh not what I wanted to do. Who knows when else I'm going to be able to check, do all this looting. Loot. 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 Silver Laman. Don't know the sigil. Hasn't been used in ages, looks like. Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound, maybe. Someone look in it and scream. Jillian Alboco's lesser key. Tums about demons, dusty as they come. I'm worried what I'm gonna see. Is that you? Leave the bed pan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shall be eating today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How do you get in? Get out. I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out. Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please, you know, Gaunter Old Dim, evil incarnate. He didn't send me. 
But he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Could be. You a prisoner here? Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I'm one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant, but not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends, but that's beyond my control. Came to talk. I came here because I need information. I think you might be the only man who has it. Mm, a witcher. Then it follows our need and fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. Mm. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim. Mm -hmm. At times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient All of them are scary. Find, Horrible you know, a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims. And thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. Magic circle on the floor. What's that about? What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? He told me himself. He paid me a visit once. Fascinating. I was. I was blind already, but saw clearly. He smiled. Said he was honored I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me, and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me, you see. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. What else do you know about him? Anything else about the man? Gaunter O'Dim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. I'm gonna make one of these pacts with him. You'd sign one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. Have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this. Would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin, a meeting at a crossroads. A wish, a pact 
signed in blood, and a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Oldim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world, his betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. Um. His Vladimir, did Olgrim kill him? So did Olgird kill his own brother? No. Oh, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgird merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. You know all this from Olgird? Olgird tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It is worse. Many illnesses are treatable. But play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. Ogird wants to break his path. Why? Pack, was why? geared out to get rid of Odim. He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? His heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Or Dim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference. And die by it. Yeah, well, that makes sense. No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Old Dim at his own game. Meaning? Ogdim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. Sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Mm. How can I get rid of this mark? Ogdim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? Mark? No mention in the tones. Strange. Unless. Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded mm. bore no mark. Thanks for your help. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful. After so many years locked up, living in fear, why it's pleasance itself. No. Oh, Kill the man in the end. Damn. Like that's... Nah, I think... So I'm trying to think. Well, on that note, I guess we'll call it here for the night. And I gotta see exactly how we win or lose this. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed our show. Share, favorite, follow, like, spread it around. If you know others to be entertained by my show, send them my way. I'll happily entertain you all. Till next, also don't forget to subscribe. It can only help the channel. Till next time, this is The Night Show, signing off for the night.